For the thumbnail. For the thumbnail. again guys with another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing an updated BBO supply list um, this is updated from my very first supply list I have found I've already had surgery by the way guys and I have found that a lot of stuff that I purchased and that I did mention that in my video prior but a lot a lot of stuff that I purchased guys and brought with me to Miami I didn't need so I want to help you guys so much I want to save you dolls so much money I know that um, a lot of dolls or a lot of people are creating a supply list with a bunch of ton of long things a long list that you need to go out and buy which and eh, sis let me help you let me help you save some money okay cuz I'm here to tell you I had surgery in Miami and I did not need half not even half of the stuff that I purchased okay I'm telling you I'm telling you let me help you guys so in today's video I'm going to be helping you out letting you know what to bring um, and what not to bring okay so uh, before we get into this video though please go ahead and like comment and subscribe if you're new to my channel welcome I'm Daniel Cole please go ahead and subscribe on your right hand side I appreciate you um, and be sure to follow me on my Instagram at family that is my personal page however I am going to update Dee Breezy family I'm gonna no longer go by Dee Breezy family so if you caught in my intro I didn't say Dee Breezy family I said Danielle Nicole because I am doing away with Dee Breezy I'm just going to go by my name which is Danielle Nicole <laughs> but yeah for now it is still Dee Breezy family so you can follow me on my personal page at Dee Breezy family or if you have a um, SX account you can follow me to stay updated with my results and um, you can follow me on alvarez underscore x x underscore barbie i always get tongue tied but again that's alvarez underscore sx underscore barbie so if you dolls have a um surgery page you are more than welcome to follow me there to stay updated with my results and things like that um but yeah like this video share this video up with whoever is getting surgery tell them sis Put it back, put it down, let me help you save you some money, okay? Put that down, you don't need it. All right guys, so you can check in the back here. I have everything laid out on the bed. Remember, I did already have surgery on February 10th, so this is just an updated video to um, the first BBL supply list that I created. Um, I have found that even the things that I brought um, I don't need um, so I didn't need and you don't need it so I'm going to help you guys save so much money that is the goal in this video is to help you guys save money because the list that people create guys girls ladies you don't need it you don't need it you don't need half of the things now I know you want to be prepared you'd rather be safe than sorry but I'm telling you if you're going to recovery home most of the things that you need the recovery home is going to provide it for you. They wash your clothes for you daily. They fold your clothes. So you're going to have the, the outfit that you wore the day before. It's going to be washed and clean the next day. So it's kind of like you may put that back on. You know what I'm saying? So don't go out and buy all these things. But anyway, I do have everything laid out here from the outfits that I brought, uh, from the um, deodorant that I brought, the wipes, the everything. So I'm going to get into that right now. So. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Like I said, I have everything laid out on my bed. And you can see it's only a few things that is on my bed. It's not a crap load of stuff in my bed, on my bed right now. It's just a few things. So, starting with the deodorant. You need your deodorant. Bring some deodorant. I also have um, this bruise cream that I purchased from Amazon. And I bought this one because I thought it was pretty cool. It was about $30. Um, if you guys are interested, I will link it in the description box down below. Um, it does wonders, okay? It really does wonders. Like, my bruising went away very, very fast. In, like, the first two weeks, my bruising was gone, completely gone. So, this stuff does work 
amazing and it does not burn I have used um, one of my SX sisters that I was sharing a room with I used the Arnica gel and that cream shit gel excuse my language but that shit burned okay my skin was like burning like oh my god that was so no don't if you mm -mm, okay don't don't do it all right so here I have the uh oh my camera is blurry focus focus baby don't do me like that okay it is really not gonna focus anyway it's the Hippoclan soap um so yeah I have this and I actually got it from um, my surgical clinic they give you a bottle and this is how small it looks so um, I would recommend you purchase a a uh, bigger size on Amazon or wherever you may find this. Um, I'm sure you can get it off Amazon. Um, aloe vera. I do strongly recommend you purchase this because, sis, you are going to itch like crazy. I know everybody's body is different, but I'm pretty confident that you're probably going to experience some itchiness. I don't know if it's going to be mild or very vigorous. Uh, but me, I definitely had a lot of itchiness. And this right here, this aloe vera. 100% gel works so ugh, it worked wonders guys it it was amazing it helped me out so much um, it's almost gone but it really did help me out so much I would put this on before um, putting on my uh, what you call it my undershirt my cami and before putting my foams and boards in I would put that on and it will reduce the itchiness completely or it will reduce the itchiness or it will actually take it away completely uh, bring your toothbrush toothpaste um, I'll come back to this right here you are going to need a spray bottle so sis go to the Dollar Tree get you a spray bottle because you're gonna have a hard time wiping your butt and you don't want poop all in your butt okay so I am back sorry guys I decided to change the whole setup and put it back on the ring light so that you guys can see me while I um, show you guys the items that you need um, just so we can get a little more personal, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Um, but yeah, I was saying that you definitely need the spray bottle. Um, so bring a spray bottle. You can go to Dollar Tree. You can actually go to Walmart, whichever convenience store that's near you, and get a spray bottle because this, you're going to need it. It's going to be very, very challenging to wipe your butt. I am not lying. I'm not kidding. It's going to be hard. Okay? So get you a spray bottle and spray your butt so that you don't have poop all in your butt. Um, wipe. Now these are not the wipes that I actually um, brought to Miami. Focus, camera. Okay, so yeah, this is not what I actually brought to Miami. This is my daughter's wipes that I just kind of grabbed so that you guys can see. You know, you need wipes, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I have actually purchased flushable wipes so that I can flush it down the toilet when I'm done. Um, you don't want to put these down the toilet because you'll clog up the toilet. Don't do it, don't do it. Um, yeah, don't do it. So get some flushable wipes. And get a lot, maybe like five to six bags, maybe at the most, um, or minimum. You can get that, uh, and that'll definitely help you out. Even if you don't use them all, which I believe you probably will use them, a lot of them. Um, you can bring them home and you can use it when you when you get home. You know, wiping with wipes is actually better than wiping with toilet paper. Too. Um, so yeah, bring you about five to six or seven of those maybe like five to six i think you should be good i actually only brought two packs and two packs is definitely not enough um i definitely have to go to Publix down the street from my recovery home to get more wipes because uh, two was not enough and actually while we're talking about it this is tmi but i'm gonna keep it above with you guys so you guys can know the real deal holy feel um, the antibiotics that I had to take gave me diarrhea, so I was actually using the bathroom every single freaking day, multiple times a day. It did not take me long to have a bowel movement. I know some dogs have trouble with that, um, and they take um, stool softeners. I needed no stool softener. I had no problem going to the bathroom. I was actually going to the bathroom too many times, which is very annoying because I have to take off my Baja completely. Sorry, that was my Bluetooth speaker. Um, but yeah, um, I have to take off my Faja completely to use the bathroom and then put everything back on because that was just kind of very annoying. I hated it. It was it was terrible, okay? <laughs> uh, so yeah, in order to help with my diarrhea, what I did was actually purchase 
some probiotics, which I showed you guys in my video prior. Um, that I did purchase probiotics and that kind of helped a little bit, but I still was going constantly. But it did help a little bit. Um, iron pills. I had low iron. My iron was around, um, it was in the 10s or something like that. I, don't, I can't remember exactly, but I, I want to say it was in the 10s. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I definitely needed to get my iron up so that I didn't have to purchase a cell saver or anything like that or be denied for surgery. So these are the iron pills that I actually purchased. And I got them from, I want to say Walmart or Target here in Houston, Texas. So this is the one that I purchased and it does wonders, okay? In addition to this iron pills that I've been taking, which is nature made by the way, obviously. Um, in addition to that, I also take sea moss. I don't know if you guys know that, uh, know what that is. It's actually, I'll pop it in the, somewhere here on the video right here. I'll pop what sea moss is. I do have a whole video uh, in regards to sea moss and how to make it and the benefits of sea moss. But again, I'll post the benefits right here on this side of uh, sea moss. But in short, it has a lot of minerals that we need. So um, including helping with our iron. So definitely get you some sea moss bits. I have a whole video on that. And I'm right. So um, next, I also purchased this off of Amazon for about 27 bucks. This is a key ingredient that can be found in pineapple. So I know that um, pineapples help with the swelling. And I actually just purchased, went ahead and purchased this um, and I put it in my tea. So I drink hibiscus tea or I'll drink black tea or green tea and I would just pop one scoop of that. Um, let me show you what it looks like on the inside really nasty but I don't taste it because I do put it in my um, tea but I did try it without putting it in my tea and it's disgusting but anyway this is what it looks like right here I don't know if my camera's gonna focus but I don't want to spill this but yeah this is what this is what it looks like and um, I just put one scoop of that inside of my tea and then I also put my sea moss in there and um, now, this is now, when I was back having surgery, well, yeah, having surgery during that week, I would not drink um, sea moss because they tell you to stop any herbal supplements and things like that. So um, I did not have the sea moss while I was in Miami. I didn't start taking the sea moss and things like that and my herbal supplements until I got back to Texas and in my second week, second to third week. Um, so yeah, but now what I do is I put this in here, I put this in my tea, and I put some sea moss in my tea, and I put, um, uh, that's it, oh, black seed oil. I put black seed oil in my tea as well. I have a lot of swelling, but honestly guys, I have not been very coherent in regards to, um, listening and following directions about wearing my faha. Um, I have slept on my faja for about four times since I've been home. I know that's bad. We're supposed to stay in our faja 24 seven, but a couple of times it was just because I was very itchy and I just couldn't take it. And I don't know why I didn't put the aloe vera on, but um, I just, maybe I just wanted to get out of my faja truthfully. But yeah, I got out of my faja and I slept all night. And when I wake up, I'm swollen. So yeah, don't don't do that. Put your faja on, guys, ladies. Don't don't go to sleep without your faja. I need to stop. I made a mental note to myself. I said that I'm gonna stop doing that. So wish me luck. Um, what else? What else? What else? Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and sh this is all you need. All you need um to take with you to Miami. Everything else, like your gauze pads, um pads, um chuck pads, um. Um, 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 band-aids, gloves, they have all of that for you at the recovery home. So if you're staying at a recovery home, you don't need a shower liner, you don't need gauze pads, you don't need band-aids, you don't need, um, 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 pads, you don't need chuck pads, you don't need none of that stuff. Because they're going to do every single thing for you. Well, not every single thing, but they're going to do majority of the things for you that you can't do. They're going to have 
majority of the things that you need like what I just mentioned so don't go buy that you don't need a shower liner you don't need you don't need eight outfits because you're not going to wear them you're going to wear about two nightgowns probably every single day um and that's it unless you just unless you're up and you feel good and you feel like you want to go out somewhere then maybe pack another outfit or something for you to go out but for the most part um you're gonna be in the recovery home you're going to be recovering and you don't need you don't need the extra shit don't don't buy it <laughs> seriously save your money but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the clothes i'm gonna start with um actually i'm gonna start with the compression socks so again i've already had surgery so these have been worn but these are what compression socks looks like that's not from look like that's not from the surgical center um this came from amazon and i paid about six or seven bucks i don't remember exactly so don't quote me um they're go-to socks and they're black and gray and um, however i did watch another supply video and one of the dolls her name is Gigi. she goes by Gigi. you can follow her she does have a youtube channel i'll link her channel in the description bar down below but yeah she brought a couple of socks that actually came from marshall's i want to say or ross i can't remember but it was one of the two and she i think she only paid like three dollars or five dollars and she has like so many so i do recommend that because the one that you get from me aesthetics is very poor quality it'll do for the day that they put it on but to wear it constantly yeah it, it's it wasn't worth it so definitely buy you a couple of pair maybe about three um and that should do it maybe three um okay so rope this rope was my best friend <clears throat> let me show you if my camera focus okay there it goes so this robe is actually very soft it came from the pink store i actually got it for free from buying so many things at the pink store like 500 dollars worth of stuff from pink um and they gave me this robe for free which i love so much um it's very soft it's cozy oh my gosh it's so cold and the aesthetics is so 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 cold so this robe was so comfortable it kept me warm it has a hood on it it was amazing it was my best friend oh my god okay yeah i just want to let you know how much this robe meant to me i don't really wear it here back at home because i don't like to wear clothes yeah okay anyway <laughs> uh so yeah um yeah i don't really wear it now but it was my best friend in miami and i just we have so many memories gosh yes okay anyway so definitely bring you a robe um or two maybe just one one should do it you don't really need two because we're about saving money in this video right so you don't need two just bring one this will do all right so um slippers bring you some slippers uh these i already have from can you guess 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 i got it from the pink store um <clears throat> these were actually free also because i spent so much money all the time at pink yeah so these are free and I don't really wear them here at home, but I did wear them in the recovery home because, you know, I, I don't wanna walk around, you know? Yeah, without anything on my feet. So yeah, I did have these on um, with my compression socks, of course. Okay, so let's go into the undergarments and you don't need panties, okay? Whoever told you to buy panties, don't buy. You don't need panties, you don't need panties, you don't need panties. Okay? No panties. Don't buy it. All right. All right, so you don't need a bra either, but I did wear my bra uh, maybe like the second or third day. I only bought one bra, and I did end up wearing it because, you know, these things, <laughs> they, they kind of, yes, they need some work. Um, so, yeah, I did put a bra on um, the second or third day. Actually, the second. I want to say the second day or day one I think I put a bra on day one yeah okay so anyway undershirts candies you do need this um, to go under your faja because your skin after having liposuction is very sensitive um, anything can happen you know like if you touch it the wrong way that could probably hurt you it will most likely hurt you um, you're gonna be very tender as well um, and then anything you do wrong I mean it can leave an imprint on your belly on your stomach so you just 
the foams and the boards and all that stuff when you put that in um it, it, it gets your lines on your belly it's just it's really annoying to be honest but for the most part the line the lines in your belly does go away but uh, the bruising that it causes it can be prevented if you simply wear a undergarment so this one is actually it compresses you a lot um i did show you this in my first supply video so i don't have the tag to show you exactly the name of it but if you are interested in this tight fitting cami it can comp help it helps you compress also in addition to your foams okay so it is definitely beneficial and it may look loose on camera right now but i'm telling you sis i may insert a little clip what i'm gonna do for you guys is i'm gonna insert a clip Sorry guys, the camera cut off, but I will link it in the description bar box down below. So yeah, get you a cami. I only actually brought one, one of these. I didn't end up buying another one because I did have under, I did have camis at home under shirts and stuff. So I'm gonna move on to clothes, which we were already on clothes, but I mean like nightgowns, you know what I mean? All right, so anyway, I only purchased one nightgown from Walmart for $6, or was it $3? I think it was $6. I want to say it was like $6.44. Um, I actually purchased three at first, but then when I realized I had some here at home, I was like, uh-uh, I'm going to take them back. So I did leave one, and this is the one that I left. Here we go. So yeah, and then I had two others here at home. Um, that I brought so this is one two three three nightgowns that I uh, brought to Miami And then I also brought this pan set right here You guys can see focus Here we go. This is actually really really big It doesn't compress my hips or butt or anything like that because it's so damn big and I brought this t-shirt That's very big as well. I had it when I was pregnant with my youngest daughter and I ended up bringing that but I didn't wear it yeah, I didn't wear it, so, but <laughs> I wanted an extra nightgown outfit, so I brought it just in case. So, yeah, if you want to, if you're a pant, pants and shirts kind of gal and you don't want to wear nightgowns all the time, then you can bring that. But nightgowns are really easy because um, when you go to the bathroom and you have your faja on, you put your urinal, um, your urinal down there, right, and then you go to the bathroom. With the pants, you gotta take your pants off and then get your urinal, and that's just extra work for you. And sis, you don't want to do extra work, so just, just the nightgown should do. Sorry, <laughs> I have to go get the urinal. Um, this is not the urinal. This is the urinal I have now. Okay, let me show you. Focus, focus. Here we go. All right, so this is the urinal I have right now. The fake penis, baby. <laughs> My boyfriend told me this is a fake penis. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Okay, so this is the one I have right now because I left the pink one um, that I actually purchased in Miami. It was actually uh, bigger and like wider right here. So, um, but I did leave it in Miami at the airport. At the airport, so I had to end up buying another one. I actually brought two of these small ones. I keep one with me at work and then I leave one here at home. So yeah, you do need a journal, okay? Definitely, it's a life thing. <laughs> um, okay, so the last couple of things that I wanna show you guys is the outfits during the day that I did bring. I brought three dresses, um, which I showed you guys in my first supply video. This dress right here came from this store called Cotton On in Memorial Mall. I'm gonna show you guys right here. Oh. The store is actually, what is going on? I'm getting like all, anyway. Um, this dress right here came from Cotton On in Memorial Mall. It was $7 and I brought two. I brought this color and I brought a black one that looks exactly like it right here. Black, nope, that's not black. <laughs> this one right here, I brought it. And you guys see me in my surgery um, BBL video, I had I alternated between these two dresses because again the recovery home washes your clothes so yeah when I would go anywhere I would just pop on this dress right here 
And then I also have one already at home. This is very old and ugly and big. And it actually came from Ross, I think, or Marshalls. But I think Ross. Don't quote me because I don't remember. But I had this for a very, very long time. And I did bring this one as well, which I didn't wear it at all whatsoever. It just sat there. But you, you want to have options, right? So yeah, I did bring it. And then for my flight home, for my flight home, I actually brought these pants here, right here. And then my boyfriend's shirt. I brought these two items right here for my return flight home. So yeah, that's what I, I ended up wearing at home. My return flight was uncomfortable as hell i did not record that experience because i was so annoyed i was so ready to get home my flight was hella late so guys girls don't book your flight late to go home i was trying to be cheap and get the cheaper flight <laughs> because you know it was cheap uh, but i was ready to go seriously oh my gosh i had to lay on the floor which was uncomfortable in the airport excuse me and when I got on the plane, I was able to um, get a road to my, there's something flying, <laughs> like something flying right here. But anyway, um, I was able to get a road to myself, so I was able to lay down. But the, the row is so short, it's not very long, it's not big enough to like stretch your legs out. So my legs is kind of going to sleep. Um, it was just, it was uncomfortable. It was an uncomfortable experience. I was trying to watch my movies and stuff to pass time, but at the end of the day, it was still very, very uncomfortable. But this video is not about my plane ride home. I just wanted to tell you guys that it was hella uncomfortable. So prepare for that. You will be uncomfortable as hell, okay? Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to come on and let you guys know, don't buy all that stuff. Um, if you want to, you can definitely buy more vitamins that they have which is like the folic acid i think and the iron pills which i just showed you guys and what what else collagen um i think that was on the list that i saw those things probably do help so you can buy that and that was actually on my um on my email from my surgical clinic of the vitamins to take but I didn't take any folic acid I didn't take collagen the only thing I took was what you see here which is the iron pills and um, um, iron pills and oh my sea moss natural supplements um, my herbal supplements my black seed oil I drink tea you know what I mean I didn't do anything out of the ordinary the only thing I did was what I told you guys and I only took the iron pills because my iron was low and I wanted to get it up I didn't purchase a cell saver I didn't need one thank god um because that would have been an extra five hundred dollars um so yeah I didn't need a cell saver so that was amazing um what else Tylenol I don't have Tylenol here I use it all but Tylenol bring Tylenol Again, I repeat, bring Tylenol. Bring AM and PM. The PM helped me go to sleep, okay? Because I couldn't sleep. So the PM helped me with sleep. And somebody's coming in. Oh, that's babe. Hi, babe. Um, yeah, so PM. Bring PM because it is going to help you sleep. Uh, so definitely bring that. And then AM to help with pain. Um... The medicine that they give you was the perk, the oxy. Um, I only took that like day one and day two, I believe, or right before my massage. I did take one, which didn't help. So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I only I did away with that. I still have it here at home um, because I just found that you know I, I don't want to take drugs. I'm not a drug person, so I'm not a medicine person either. So if I don't have to take it, I want it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, I just alternated between my Tylenol AM and my Tylenol PM. So that was definitely beneficial. So bring that, please bring that. Um, what else, what else? That's pretty much it. Oh, I did want to tell you guys about the, the bio oil and the massage roller. So this, you're gonna have incisions, right? Everywhere, well not everywhere, literally, but two right here and then two on your bum and then two under your bum and then actually have one in the middle here so i have three in the front and i have three oh my gosh i don't even know how many i have hold on let me count 
I have three in the front. I have two in the back. No, three in the back in my lower back, two on my bum, one in the middle, like one in my crack. <laughs> I have one in the middle of my back as well. And I think that's it. I want to say that's it. But anyway, so I did buy some bio oil. Okay, here's what it looks like here. I feel like I'm talking out here all. Let, drop in the comment section if I'm if I'm providing some help for it. Oh my gosh, talk right. I feel like I'm talking y'all ear off, but drop in the comments if I am providing some helpful tips to you guys, helpful information to you guys, because I definitely want to be helpful, but not too chit chatty. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, ooh, that was an ugly face I just made. But anyway, yeah, I did purchase this bio oil from Amazon um, and this massage roller as well. But you don't have to bring it to Miami with you during your surgery because you won't you won't need these items. Okay, you don't need these items until you get back home. I self massage. I try to anyway. Um, I'm not as intense as my massage therapist, uh, but I do try to get the job done. You know what I'm saying? But every time I go to her, it's still hella painful. My sides is where Dr. Alvarez did aggressive lipo. So I guess you know to contour my waist and give me that hourglass shape. So right on my sides here, which you guys can't see because the camera is not low enough. <laughs> right on my sides here, right here, I do have my faja on, my board, all that stuff. So I just have this big ass t-shirt on right here. But anyway, uh, right on my sides, it it hurts so bad when she massages, and she said that it's because um, there's like fluid here. So. She tries to work that out. Um, I'm doing much better with drinking my water and stuff like that. Um, Bae brought me some pineapples today, so thank you, Bae, for the pineapples. Uh, because every time I go to the store, I forget to buy pineapples. So that was amazing that he brought the pineapples home. Hey guys. Um, 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 yeah, so uh, Bae did buy me some pineapples, so that was amazing. Um, and I do need to eat more pineapples as well and drink pineapple juice. So when I go to the store, I'm gonna go buy some pineapples, some more, because I did eat it all, and buy some more pineapple juice as well. <laughs> okay, yeah. So anyway, um, this bio oil and this massage roller is what I use to um, do my self massaging. And I will show you guys a video of that. I'll create a video for you guys to self massage because you're going to need it. Because massages are very, very expensive, guys. It's not cheap. It is very expensive, expensive, but you do need the massages, okay? But in between time, if you don't see your massage um, therapist often, you want to massage yourself as well. Get those lumps and clumps, help it, help. Help your massage lady, okay? Help yourself because it's really you're really not helping her, you're helping yourself. So get you a roller, get you some bio oil, put it on your skin, and get some massaging, okay? Do some soft rubs. <laughs> Do some soft rubs if you have to, anything to help you your recovery, okay? But yeah, I will create a video on how to do a self-massage, how I do a self-massage, okay? Everyone may have a different way, but this is the way that I do it. Um, in the video, I'll show you that's the way I do it, and it's helpful, okay? Yeah. Um, all right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I know I just said that uh, like five, 10 minutes ago, but yeah, that really is it this time. Um, like, comment what you guys think about the video, comment. If you found that you needed more items than what I have here, truthfully guys, honestly, you don't need all the stuff that people create. The folic acid, okay, buy that. The collagen, okay, you can buy that too. The iron, definitely do that because that's gonna help you. But all this other stuff, if you're staying at a recovery home, they provide it for you. And if they don't, then then that's when you go out and buy the shower liner. That's when you go out and buy the chuck pads, the pads and all that, all those things like that. But if you don't need it, don't buy it. If you have nightgowns at home, don't go buy no no extra nightgowns just because you haven't surgery. So she's gonna be bleeding all over that shit. You know what I'm saying? So why you wanna go buy some new nightgowns and you're gonna have blood on that shit? So <laughs> don't go buy um, new nightgowns because you don't need it if you want to just buy one okay I understand you know you you having surgery you want to feel a little fancy a little fly so you can do that um, if you unless you're balling if you're balling then go ahead ball out by all means but if you're trying to not 
be wasteful even if you balling though truthfully <laughs> you don't gotta be wasteful even though you balling but anyway um yeah the dresses if you have dresses at home bring your dresses that you have at home don't go out and buy extra dresses just because you want to be cute and fancy you're going to be bleeding all over that shit seriously the fluid from your body is going to be all on that shit D don't do it okay save yourself some coins bring your dresses that you have at home in your closet and when you recover then go out and buy you know fashion nova and um what you call it um i can't even think What's the other popular store? Oh my gosh, I can't think it's at the tip of my tongue, but Forever I- Forever 31. No, it's not forever. It's, uh, what is it? Is it pretty, pretty something? Ooh, I can't think. Y'all, I'm sorry, but if I remember later when I'm editing the video, I'll put it down in the video down there. But yeah, um, yeah oh and the luggage right here this luggage right here this is the this is the size that you need right here this little small thing this is this is good enough if your luggage is bigger than this then you bring it too much shit okay so bottom line this this should end the video okay <laughs> like right here if your luggage is bigger than this you bring it too much shit okay this should be able to go on um the plane with you okay all right so yeah, that's pretty much it. I love you guys so much. Like I said, like, comment, share. Drop me some comments down below if you found this video helpful or if you feel like some of the things that I brought um, was not needed. Drop that in the comments too. Or if you feel like some things that is really, 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 really needed, um, drop that in the comment section down below. Again, follow me on my Instagram. Um, be sure to click that notification bell so you guys can be uh, notified every single time I drop a video. I get a lot of DMs asking when I'm gonna do an updated video. Um, so here is the updated video. Um, but yeah, when you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time, every single time I release the video. So definitely click that notification bell. And that's it. I love you guys so much. Peace out. Mwah.